Hello, my name is uh, Tito Dotfer of Dotfer Mose Electronic and uh, we are here at the NAND Show 2018 in Anaheim and uh, I'm glad to see you here. Um, I wanted to show you uh, some of our new products. Our main focus uh, at the SNAM are the polyphonic modules. That means each module uh, does not contain one function, but normally four identical functions. The first one uh, you see here is uh, the CV gate interface. It is used to generate uh, up to four gate and CV inputs and additional CV inputs to control the polyphonic voices. Normally it is controlled by a MIDI keyboard like this one or you can connect it to your computer via MIDI or via USB and you may run a software sequencer on your computer that is used to control the interface. The second module is the VCO for each voice you need normally an oscillator. The, it's a quad VCO, we have four identical VCOs. Each VCO has available three outputs, a triangle, a sawtooth and a rectangle output. We have a, a tuning control for each VCO, we have an octave switch and we have also a modulation input which can be switched to exponential uh, frequency modulation or to linear frequency modulation or to pulse width modulation and you have a, a master control unit which affects all VCOs at the same time so you can change for example the tuning and the octaves of the all four VCOs at the same time. Uh, another module uh, which is required for a standard polyphonic patch is uh, a VCF. What we here see is a quad polyphonic uh, VCA, VCF. We have four identical uh, VCFs. We have common control for all VCFs like the frequency, frequency modulation, intensity, resonance and audio level which affects all uh, for filters at the same time. We also have a VCA, but it's uh, not only a quad VCA, but an octal VCA. Uh, the reason why we decided uh, to introduce the octal VCA is that you need normally two VCAs for each voice. One VCA which is controlled by envelope and a second VCA which is controlled, for example, by velocity or by an LFO or by another uh, control voltages. And finally, we have uh, the polyphonic voltage control ADSR. We have four identical envelope generators of ADSR type. We have the manual controls ADSR. We have control voltage inputs for attack, decay, sustain and release. And uh, yeah, you can modulate also each parameter uh, by an external control voltage, not only manual. In this patch, which we see here now, I don't use the gate outputs of the interface to control the, uh, the envelope generator. I rather use uh, the outputs of a trigger sequencer because uh, I wanted to show the possibility to combine the polyphonic module with other modules. So it's not necessary to use the polyphonic module only for a polyphonic synth, but you can combine it also with other modules. And I will show you what we, what we now hear are the four VCOs controlled by the envelope generators and the VCAs. And I use, as already said, the trigger uh, sequencer to control that. And you can change the parameters, like... And you can change uh, the chords by the keyboard.
And in addition, I have here a so-called micro keyboard in there, which can be used to transpose in addition the sequence. And we can add a little bit more other sounds. But what I also use in this patch is that I control the decay time of the four envelope generators by an analog sequencer, so it changes a little bit for every step. So it's a little, a little bit more dynamic sound. Yeah. Yes, I think these are the most important uh, things we show at NEM and uh, Thank you for coming. Thank you.